the Silicon Union from the Faculty of Sciences in the United University of Munich. Thank you very much for coming. Is it possible to start my presentation? Uh, sorry that I bring the presentation at the beginning of this session. First of all, I would like to thank Wellingit and the organ for me to say a few words uh, about activities that are related with your school here. And I will try to introduce you with this activity and maybe give you some ideas for your future activities in a couple of minutes. Uh, I would also like to thank and to congratulate the Faculty of Science, to ICTP, and to Regional Center for making this event uh, possible. My uh, <clears throat> special uh, compliments go to the value to all uh, applicants because I personally, with my team, made more than 10 events with ICTP, but never in the ICTP calendar outside ICTP. In fact, we have it once, but not officially. That's really a hard task, and this uh, really a very good job done for us for that. Uh, uh, announced me as a president of the Balkan Physic Union, what was right. But since 1st of September this year, I'm former president of the Balkan Physic Union. However, I'm still executive di director of the Southeast European Network in theoretical and mathematical physics which headquarters is here at the Faculty of Science since 2009, and uh, it works till 2003. Uh, I would like to, to remind all of you here, in particular, my older colleague, Professor Harvey, that I didn't see for years. So thank you for your coming and, and wait to see you here. So I hope that I can start in a few minutes or a few seconds. So well, uh, in the meantime, I hope you see me, and I think uh, as Raz uh, said, all the, I think I, I don't need the microphone to hear me. Uh, you have a, and you will have a great school here. That's no doubt about that. At all. Uh, somehow, I think that, uh, in particular, we who are coming from reasonably small universities, small departments, etc., uh, suffer from isolation. And our PhD students are not very numerous, and they are somehow uh, not in, in, uh, in touch with the uh, other uh, institutions, with other students of their age, etc. Et so uh, during my stay in Munich between 2000 and 2002 at Max Planck Institute and Guggenheim University, I was uh, witnessing and I uh, took part in many network activities. So. Uh, Having uh, Professor Julius West, a uh, great uh, scientist and great physicist, I think it doesn't work. Can it? I think you have to, or I have to check here. Uh, we established this network in 2003, not far away from here, in Vinach Kabanya. Not necessary. <laughs> Works, okay. So here is the, the about uh, Julius West and some other guys. Uh, so the idea was to bridge the gap between Southern East and Western Europe. Keep in mind that this is a period about 2002-2003. Fortunately, now we don't have the same problems and that, but many of them are still persisting. As I said, it's a, um, how to say, a partialization, and we are. It's a difficult to reach a critical mass for real for real uh, work and to, to really establish. Uh, a, a good uh, research groups. So the here is the about the network. Twenty three institutions from eleven countries, thirteen partner institutions, more than one one four hundred individual members, etc. Main main uh, uh, main objectives and, uh, and aims I already told. This is the provide regional framework in what? <laughs> there are some problems. Very good. So, uh, support capacity building, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I will try to, to speed up. I, I hope that it did not uh, defocus me and, and yourself. So, our focus is on theoretical and mathematical physics. And in fact, 
this is a very broad range and uh, uh, but your school has is also apply, uh, applied but also very very wide so i think that in that we have something in, in common uh there are networks there were networks there will be networks but in our region i think only our network uh, uh, still exists after almost uh, 20 years it's a very hard task and if you will think about make, uh, making and uh, making something with it uh, you will see some of the problems of the problems um it's not easy but it's not so difficult to get a real net so we have at the moment 15 member nodes and you see uh, by the order of the city mathematical institute is first and uh, from, from the very beginning is there with Vladimir Dragovic, uh, Boryslav Gajic and Borza Dovanovic as uh, our main cooperators in there. And so I will not read uh, the names and the cities and the institutions here, but you can, uh, but you should know that it's uh, 12 countries, including uh, some countries we are not, the Balkan countries, or Balkan uh, or Senate, Senate countries, but anyway, uh, close and very well uh, cooperate. Partner institutions all over the world. Here you have some of them. And now I would like just to, to spend one or two minutes for something that maybe also could be used. So this uh, lack of the, first of all, a lack of the students uh, in Munich or, I don't know, at, at ICP and, uh, or CISA, you have tens and tens uh, students and they make a very good group. So. Sometimes they don't need really teachers or lecturers sometimes. But here it's something, something else. And I know, I don't know it, uh, uh, details, but maybe we'll hear something about that uh, later from my colleague Dragan Georgievich. They make a PhD school. What we want to, to do, it's less formal. It is additional auxiliary PhD program for the students from the Southeast European countries. Uh, I can say that. Uh, Somehow it was my idea, and just partially we make it. So to have two or three schools, pretty topical, and make a cycle of three years for nine, eight to nine. Uh, usually we have six to eight exams, for instance, in niche, but we don't have uh, a really excellent, and uh, we don't have possibility to cover all these uh, subjects at a very high level. And this is the same practically for all our all our notes. So it was. Okay, you have quantum field theory, but you don't have functional field theory and set. So let's try to make these students together and to have the extra school just for this specific subject. By the way, we find that in our region there are about 100 PhD students. So the first step was to establish a framework agreement of cooperation with CERN and CNET MPP, which was signed in 2017. Here are the signatures, etc. In 2000. Uh, 18, it was signed by Fernando Quevedo and my colleague Drago Gutierrez, so I think it's also part of this consortium now. You have the list of the schools. You can see on the wish list, you see there are distribution of the topics that students prepare, but we can make something that is the most interesting for them. Uh, this is the 92 students who were registered in 2015. We started as, you, as it, it used to be in Nish and a private school, practically without financing, but still. Uh, and we have uh, 14 students. That, that, that. And then we continue with the Belgrade uh, 2015. Then we continue with Bucharest in 2015, 41, etc. Then the management of CEN was changed and the budget from 40,000 Swiss francs dropped to 5,000. So now it was a real real uh, real effort, real uh, challenge to, to keep it alive. We made it somehow with the Sim Timisora 2016, 23 participants, Sofia 27 when ICP uh, was not formally, but substantially involved in the program. You can see the, the, the lecturer, the participants, I have to master. And the end of the first cycle was again in niche, 3 to 10 of, of June with a Maybe we're not close to this field, but it's a really excellent top level uh, researchers in, the, in the Europe, at least, with 40 participants. 
Here is the distribution number of the students. As you can see, in, in general, we have 20, 20 students per school. Uh, we have the number of participation from the partner nodes, Belgrade, Bucharest, Nish, Sofia, Timisoara was the, was the most representative, let's say. Frequency of the partic participation of the students and events. And then we start the next cycle. Despite the budget was still very low, we, and despite Corona, we were able to make a school in, in Janina. Uh, this is the program for this uh, period, which just finished in Belgrade with the school. Uh, this is a list of the activities, etc. Uh, what I can say, uh, during the, the Corona, we have one online school and we have two schools in Janina, on site and in Belgrade two days ago. Um, uh, because the support is a program gravitation and cosmology that I led to this year. Now my colleague from physics, Maria Dimitrievich Chiric, uh, take the ownership. And at the end of the story, I asked myself several times, it is so complicated and it is worth to do it. So I don't know, try something better or try the same or try something else. And we will make a conclusion. Sometimes it's really bored. Sometimes sorry that I likely overtake my time. If there will be some discussion during the school and I will be here, I will be happy to to contribute to that. So thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Of course, uh, this is uh, the plenary session. This is uh, only the first of uh, our meetings. I hope so. I hope that you will have a lot of opportunity to meet uh, the next uh, two weeks. Now, I have one more great pleasure to invite Professor Dragan Georgievich uh, from Faculty of Sciences at Mathematics at the University of Nish, who will be speaking on, on behalf of the PhD School of Mathematics. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you very much for the invitation. I'm grateful to all organizers, particularly to my colleague and all students, to all those interested in computer science, decided to take one exam in pure mathematics and successfully finished the that exam. And our cooperation started maybe 15 years ago or more. Yeah, it was great. And thank you to all other organizers. I know that there are many people that get to work hard that we get this beautiful event. Now I am on behalf of PhD School of Mathematics and I'll talk a little bit of mathematics in Nish. And this is School on Information, Noise and Physics of Lives and of course Mathematics Metals everywhere. Sometimes when it's not completely necessary. <clears throat> PhD School of Mathematics is official PhD program in mathematics developed in developed by several leading institutions in mathematics. First of all, Mathematical Institute of Serbian Academy of Sciences and Arts. Professor George Paralic had uh, some nice lines about the institute. Then Faculty of Sciences in Novi Sad, Faculty of Sciences in Kragujevac, Faculty of Sciences in Niš, and State University of Novi Pazar. We cover between 10 and 15 various branches of mathematics, including some branches of computer science. We have at least two lecturers here, Professor Barbrak Todorovic and Professor George Balaric and myself that are involved in this program. We have finished, uh, we are about to finish our seven years accreditation and we have prepared documentation for seven more years. The idea is, of course, what, what was told before today, that uh, a lack of number of PhD students at every uh, faculty, every university, forced us to try to unite uh, them in one school, one place. So it is actually, it actually makes sense to give lectures to several students, not only to one. So uh, students of PhD schools of, mathemat of mathematics have the opportunity to uh, know and to meet leaders in mathematics in all main centers of Serbia. And they have the opportunity to broaden their knowledge in various 
aspects of mathematics and various uh, types of working and hopefully that it will be a successful project. As I said, we had, uh, we had, we had six generations by now. Uh, this October, this will be, there will be the seventh generation of students. And the main, uh, the main reason to do that is uh, to try to have, to, uh, to include many young uh, people who want to work in mathematics. And this is the reason I'm happy to see here uh, many young uh, people working in computer sciences and related subjects. And I'm ha always happy when I see uh, such occasions. <clears throat> and finally, I would say that uh, it is important to mention a few, line about, few lines about mathematics in niche. We have, uh, we have uh, reached the position in mathematics on Sh the prestige Shanghai list of universities. All the whole university of NIS did not appear there, but the uh, branch of mathematics appeared, and we are very happy to see that. And we are very happy to uh, say that uh, two years, the uh, uh, last two years, we have mathematicians uh, in Stanford list of 2% of the most influential, influential scientists. Uh, we have them in mathematics, one of them in chemistry, and I believe that this will be a very good start for our future uh, scientific research. And finally, uh, just a few words that uh, I want to stress out that we are all dedicated to young generations, jointly with the uh, Serbian Scientific Mathematical Society, we organize a conference for young mathematicians in Serbia. Uh, first Congress was uh, organized two years ago. The next one will be organized in the, in the end of uh, September, just about when this uh, workshop finishes. So thank you all, and I wish you happy and fruitful work. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you for a great talk. Uh, now, uh, I have a great pleasure to invite Professor Vladimir Turovic from Faculty of Sciences and Mathematics University of Nish. Actually, I, I was very fortunate to have uh, this great opportunity to start learning machine learning and uh, Actually, everything I know about machine learning I learned from you. So, Mane, please. Thank you very much for the opportunity to talk about master studies on artificial intelligence and machine learning at the Faculty of uh, Natural Sciences and Mathematics, University of Nish. Uh, we are developing uh, almost uh, 20 years new courses on artificial intelligence and machine learning. And now it's time to have an uh, entire uh, new study program, master studies, dedicated to artificial intelligence and machine learning. Uh, our study program has two years and four semesters, uh, and uh, students will have to gain 120 ECTSP points to finish this program. And after finishing this program, uh, they will have a title of, uh, during this program, they have seven or, or mandatory courses, five elective courses that have, uh, can be elected from uh, 34 offered elective courses. And also we have a professional practice in the third semester, also with uh, study research work which is dedicated to this professional practice. And professional practice and this study research work are considered as courses. In the fourth semester, we have study research work, which is dedicated to developing and uh, finishing actual uh, master uh, thesis. And uh, also writing and defense of master thesis itself is considered as one of courses. Uh, all courses are one semester courses. And uh, uh, per semester, we have four courses during this study program. We have a number of uh, lecturers from industry here in Niche, 
software industry and the signal processing industry also. And also we have a number of uh, foreign professors from other universities which are dealing with machine learning and artificial intelligence to work on this story. Okay. No problem. In the first year, in the first semester, we have introductory course on machine learning and artificial intelligence. And also we have course on optimization in machine learning, statistical analysis in machine learning, and one elective course. Uh, in the second semester, we have a course on artificial neural networks, um, big data analysis, and two elective courses that can be selected from the list of elective courses. So uh, this is the first group in the first semester. Those courses up here are courses that can be selected. One of them can be selected as, a, as elective course. You can see here graph theory, probabilistic automata, Bayesian data analysis, information theory, machine learning, etc. And elective courses, uh, second and fourth in the second semester, machine learning, for example, one of them, machine learning and artificial intelligence in robotics, uh, uh, parallel dis distributed machine learning, also advanced computer architectures, et cetera, et cetera. So from this group, you can select two courses in the second semester as elective courses. Uh, this is uh, courses by semester in the second year. Uh, frameworks for machine learning, where we're teaching uh, new frameworks like, for example, PyTorch or TensorFlow, uh, reinforcement learning course, and the study research work, which is dedicated to finishing professional practice. Study research work and professional practice are considered as courses. And in the uh, fourth semester, we have two elective courses, which can be selected from, from the number of elective courses for this semester and also have master thesis research work. This uh, research work is considered as a work dedicated to finishing master thesis. And also we have master thesis writing and defense. Courses that can be selected in the, the fourth semester are these from statistical software through artificial intelligence in biomedicine, mathematical logic, fuzzy systems, knowledge-based system, decision theory, digital signal processing, and natural language processing, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, the main programming languages we are using are C++, CUDA, and Python. Uh, although we are uh, teaching uh, new frameworks for developing artificial intelligence projects, like uh, PyTorch, TensorFlow, Scikit-Learn, et cetera, we are also promoting writing custom code in C++, CUDA, and Python in order to improve actually solutions for machine learning problems and problems in artificial intelligence. And uh, one of the reasons is, for example, uh, presented here. You, you can see here the results of predictions of uh, popularity of some video content on video streaming platforms, which is developed using custom model, which is trained in only 33 milliseconds. And this custom model usually have small number of parameters. This model has only 48 parameters. Custom model is such that it develops its own architecture, selects its own architecture, number of synapses, connection of synapses in order to solve the problem. Compare, his accuracy is higher than state-of-the-art deep learning model, which is uh, developed using a TensorFlow uh, learning framework. And uh, this, a uh, model is trained uh, for four seconds and number of parameters is 23,000. So number of, in, in this particular problem, number of training is, examples was 177. So you can see that the number of parameters here selected is lower than number of, of uh, training examples, uh, which is totally contrary to this deep learning, pro, uh, deep learning uh, state of the art model for, for prediction. And uh, that's the reason that we are promoting writing custom code dedicated to solving some, some uh, uh, difficult problem in machine learning. Uh, our goal is to develop practical as well as theoretical knowledge in this area for students that, have, uh, that uh, will finish this, uh, this uh, study program. 
and uh, to actually develop the knowledge and interest in this area here in Serbia, uh, because this area is a growing area of industry, in industry as well in, in academic area. And uh, the, the reason that we are developing this study program is actually to develop this kind of, of industry here in Niche in and this part of the, the Serbia as well. Thank you very much. Very much, Mario. Thank you very much, Professor Todorovic. Uh, we would like to thank you all. I would like to thank you on uh, behalf of all school directors, uh, and the president, uh, and all that with uh, Rafael. Uh, Rafael is uh, coming uh, tomorrow, but we mentioned we will meet uh, again. So he is looking forward to seeing you all. And uh, now we would like to add a few more words uh, about uh, the school and uh, related uh, projects, seminars, opportunities. And uh, I would like to invite uh, my great colleague, uh, Angel Fertedic. Uh, Angel, thank you for everything. The floor is yours. Thank you. I would like first to welcome you all, uh, and I'm really happy that you all are here, and uh, to thank also the participants for following the lectures online, and uh, I will wish you uh, a nice stay and a pleasant stay here, and uh, I hope you're going to have the opportunity to explore the city, to have uh, networks in your scientific research and with your colleagues, and to enjoy to enjoy the school, to learn a lot, and uh, to take uh, uh, great knowledge and a great reminiscence from, from Nish and from the school. Uh, I'm here to tell you something about uh, the seminar that is organized by Mathematics Institute Sanum. Uh, I am the leader of the seminar, and uh, uh, it is the relatively new. Uh, the, the name of the seminar is uh, Bio mechanics, bioengineering, and mathematical biology. It is uh, tend to be an international seminar and multidisciplinary seminar. Uh, and I think uh, it is, let's say, important for you because uh, uh, there are a lot of opportunities to exchange knowledge uh, through such kind of activities like seminars. Uh, and uh, I will be pretty short because you're already maybe tired. And what is the aim of this seminar? So the aim is to present and exchange scientific knowledge and experiences among uh, the participants and the audience, and uh, to make publicly visible the cutting edge scientific work of researchers uh, on a wide range of topics uh, in the fields of biomechanics, bioengineering, and mathematical biology. Uh, so uh, the work also includes the organization of uh, uh, scientific discussions, uh, workshops, uh, and uh, mini symposia, and also the cooperation to exchange, the, uh, to increase the cooperation with the professionals associates, associations. So there are some of the topics, maybe it's not readable from this side, but I would just mention, you know, modeling, mathematical modeling uh, of the physiolog physiological processes of biological systems, both uh, in a health uh, state and in the pathological state, uh, biophysics, uh, then uh, biomechanics in a different variety of the uh, biological systems like mm, uh, uh, locomotion, like uh, cardiovascular system, like uh, uh, respiratory system, reproductive system, et cetera, et cetera. So also uh, one that will be interesting maybe for you is the application of uh, chaos uh, theory and uh, chaos phenomenon biological systems and uh, all actually kind of the applied mathematics also. So uh, if you uh, like to follow the seminar, uh, it is, uh, uh, it is uh, uh, on Mondays, uh, two times per month, sometimes, uh, Less, sometimes more, depends of, uh, of the schedule. Uh, so where are seminars? 
if they are in presence, they are at the Mathematical Institute uh, at the building in Belgrade, or they are online through the Zoom platform or through the platform of uh, uh, created by the Mathematical Institute. And uh, who are the target groups listened and who are the participants? So they are all, let's say, young people, not uh, just young. The age is not important. Gender is not important. So uh, only willing to uh, uh, reach this, uh, the new research, the new things uh, to communicate with your colleagues. Uh, and uh, uh, if you have, uh, for example, uh, some topic for your research, for your PhD, master, thesis uh, or your recent research, you can just contact me or uh, uh, George uh, Jovanovic, who is the secretary of the seminar, and we can uh, prepare uh, your lecture uh, for the time which is suitable for you and so on. Uh, after the lecture, you got the, the official invitation letter, you got the certificate, and uh, actually you're on then on the list for all the participants. You got through the emails for the next lectures. You can follow if it's important for you. You can send to your friends. And actually, uh, it is the point to exchange the new scientific research. So uh, I would uh, uh, also like you to welcome you again and to have a nice time and, of course, uh, to enjoy the school. Thank you again. Yeah, yeah. I think that it is maybe important to underline that this seminar actually was uh, established uh, during the preparations for this school, right? So, because uh, the preparations for this school took a uh, very long uh, process, a uh, long period, and uh, uh, this uh, seminar was home to the school also took uh, part. Uh, in the ideas uh, yes, for yes. Uh, establishing you can this. Participate, uh, in the seminar also the school. Yeah, yeah, I'm uh, 100% well, sure that anyone who would be interested in this school would also be interested in this seminar. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, so now, Professor, well done. I already introduced him maybe once again, maybe maybe to tell that uh, this is actually the second time that the Eder is coming to Serbia. Uh, first time in Niš, last time uh, we were in Belgrade, he was the invited speaker at the conference uh, in Kos, uh, that uh, was established uh, Professor Neil Mistankovic, you presented. Uh, thank you very much for uh, coming today. It's a great pleasure to have you here. So, Edgar, uh, thank you for everything. Uh, I think that uh, I was talking a lot. If I continue it, uh, it, it will... Don't worry, I will be brief. So. Uh, yeah. No, if, if you want, I can speak a lot about it. <laughs> so, sure. No, no, no. I'm okay. 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 <laughs> okay. I can speak a lot about you. Which, uh, you were really the main organizer. And you spent a lot of work. And so just to tell you that we, we've been working quite a lot to make this possible. The program was finished last night, midnight. So you can imagine <laughs> how were things. So um, I want to thank all of you, the people from Serbia and East uh, and surroundings who make this possible. Um, but mainly the students for being here. This is for you. So this school is for your development. So you learn, you discuss with us. It's not a school to intimidate you with formulas. Okay? So just for you to learn, ask questions, talk with the professors, ask with anyone you find. It's a very good opportunity. And I tell this because I in in seat 10 years ago, I was in school. So I was going to school in Benasque, uh, which is in the border between Spain and France. And uh, I always remember, I have very good memories of schools for different reasons. First is make very good friends. So it's people of your age, uh, same career. And, and this is really important, not only for friendship, but also for collaboration. So some of my best collaborators come from school. And I did very good research projects that started discussing with people in the school. And so uh, this is for you. I'm really happy for this. 
Uh, we apologize that something will have been entropic and, and disorder in our best. And um, hope, we hope you, you enjoy the been many changes in the program. We'll see. Sorry, I was not planning to, to teach, but I want to teach, for example. Uh, and uh, just as a couple of, well, one minute about ISTP. So ISTP is the institute that gives you this batch, among other things. So this is the International Center for Theoretical Physics. We are based in Trieste, in Italy, not so far from here, in the Adriatic coast. Uh, we are a um, scientific institute, who, research institute, which is extremely international. So this I is really means international because um, we take students, postdocs from all around the world. By the way, I'm Spanish, I'm not Italian, so just show you that we have people from everywhere. Um, and we are a UNESCO institute, so we collaborate with UNESCO, and we do many programs with them. This is one of them, uh, and they are mainly focused on developing countries. So, um, for instance, we have a program, it's called the Diploma Program, which is a sort of master program. We cannot give master title because we are not a university. It's equivalent to master program. And this program takes only students from developing countries. It means that if you are a student right now doing uh, university undergraduate or master in a developing country, you are eligible for this program, which is really nice. We teach a lot on this. We, we train students for one year, and then they either do PhD with us or they go to very good places. Some, some of my students are going to Max Planck, to PC, Montpellier, Edinburgh. So they go to different good places across Europe and the US. This is one of the programs, but there are also postdoctoral fellowships that are open to anyone, developing and non-developed countries. And we have many conferences. This is a conference in school. This is one example. It's the first time we come, ICDP comes to me, as far as I know, to organize school. And yeah, if you have doubts, questions, and uh, curiosity about these two programs, just ask me and I will give you information so you get to know about this. And um, okay, I promise to be short and I will be short because I'm going to speak after the coffee break. So yeah, thank you. once again, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I do not. <laughs> I, I appreciate it. <laughs> okay, so uh, thank you very much. Once again, uh, this is only the beginning. We will have a lot of opportunities to meet. Uh, we would like to invite you to have a joint coffee and discuss in less uh, formal way. And uh, maybe before that, it would be nice if you take a photo together. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah, please. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have a photo and then? Yeah. yeah. Where do you go for the photo? Outside? No, no, no. We can take it. Here, we will find the. Yeah, just to... be in trouble. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Be in trouble. Be i <laughs> 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 You're very tall. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> thinking, uh, I think okay. you're right. Okay. 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 
Вам все такое не показывает. After my, no, I, I, I met some people already. Yeah, yeah, and yet, not all, but many. Give me a second because I have to select. The rest, I think, the rest, I Okay, okay, I leave this here and connect this. Greetings to I said greetings to all of our online participants. Can you hear me? You can confirm in chat. Yes, we can hear you. Okay. My name is Lazar Stojkovic, and I'm one of the local organizers. Take, thank you all for being here. Uh, I would like to receive some of your feedback on the sound, on the image. Was everything all right so far? Uh, it's okay. No, yes. uh, also, I cannot hear you. Uh, I don't have sound, so please communicate with me through the chat. The sound was not very clear, lagging from time to time. Okay. Okay. Uh, the microphone is near the main stand where you saw most of the, let's say, lectures while the main organizer was standing quite a bit far from the microphone. So uh, you maybe didn't hear the introduction as well. We'll fix that uh, soon. So anything else? All right, also, I might, I might, might not be able to check uh, chat during the lectures because this laptop is recording the audience. Uh, so, I'll try to see your messages in between lectures. Also, everything should be recorded from now on. And I hope you'll have it available for offline. You will be able to see the lectures offline later on. That's all. We're on the coffee break. See you in maybe 10 or 15 minutes. Bye.